Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chris Al. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be going through the essential sound panel in Premiere Pro to beef up your audio and make it sound amazing. Let's dive in. All right, so let's open up our project here in Premiere Pro and let's go to the top and click audio. Now this is a designated workspace for post audio production. It makes it more efficient and easier to find things. Make sure your audio track is selected and you hit edit. Start by assigning an audio type for each track. Dialogue or A1 is usually talking points or a voiceover. A2 is usually music, A3 is generally sound effects, and A4 and on is generally your ambient sound. So here's my process for editing dialogue. So let's click on our audio track and let's start by clicking auto match. This levels out your audio. This is great when one clip is super low and another one is really high. Depending on your clip, now you can reduce some noise, de-s it, even de-hum it and reduce the reverb. Now all of these effects are useful in their own rights, but make sure that you don't layer too many on or it's gonna sound a little weird. So we'll use these sparingly. A general rule for audio is less is more. You can always tell when an audio clip has been manipulated too much. On the subcategory, we have clarity and it says dynamic slider. This adds compression. Compression is another way to even out your audio. Let's say your waveform looks like this. It generally compresses it down so you can make it louder. So there's less dynamics. Dynamics sound like this. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. And what you're gonna do with compression is go, hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. That's what it's gonna do. If you guys are new to audio production, I would highly recommend playing around with some of the presets. In this case, let's say for this video right now, I'm a talking head talking to camera. I would add a subtle boost and then in brackets, male. All right, so let's cover music. Let's say your video has a talking head or a voiceover. We're gonna talk about ducking. First, you're gonna select your music track. Then you're gonna assign your music track so Premiere knows what it's doing when it's trying to duck it. The first step here is to auto match the music track. Normally, this gives you a pretty good starting point. From there, you'll enable ducking. Set the parameters that work for you and then hit generate keyframes. What I like to do here is listen in and fine tune the keyframes so it sounds right. Generally, Premiere does a really good job, but if you wanna go a little extra mile, you can just go in and put them to the exact spot that you like it. Next, we're gonna talk about sound effects. Like we did previously, you're gonna sign your sound effects track. Then you're gonna use auto match as a starting point. Depending on your video, select the appropriate amount of reverb or effects to add to your sound effects. This will help give it the desired effect for your project. Then you can go in and adjust the volume and gain levels so it matches what you're seeing on screen. All right, next we're gonna talk about ambience. This is so crucial. It helps the audience really feel like they're there in that scene. For example, let's say we're shooting a forest scene. Let's add some sounds of birds, maybe wind blowing. Sounds that make the audience feel like they're actually in that forest. This adds so much dimension to your video. This part of the edit is pretty simple. I just select the appropriate settings for the ambient sound. In this case, we'll choose outside ambience. As you guys can see, it's really easy to elevate all your audio right within Premiere Pro. And guys, we're at the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this, please press like and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Like we do in every video outro, ASMR. Yo, how's this audio sounding? Is it sounding sizzling? Is it sounding crispy? Is it sounding delicious? Is it sounding like another word that we would use generally to describe food, but in this case, we're using to describe audio? Let me know in the comment section below what this sounds like to you, but use a food analogy. Goodbye. Okay,